Yes, greetings. We want to talk about Bob Marley, One Love. We're not going to give a critique of the movie. We're just going to say, talk about the relationship between what transpired in the movie and the audience that was present there. I was one of those who was invited because of my cameo um, presentation in the movie. No, you know, I was sitting at the movie, I was sitting at the, 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 the theatre, and I talked to my wife and I said, well, this is something else, see? Imagine when you look at the crowd outside, and the people them who is outside, including the Prime Minister of Jamaica and the opposition leader, and two of the royal family of England, not to mention all the people them who I know say is years from them a picnic them not go a carib. Cause most of them would have never find themselves below crossroad. This is a Rasta man who is projected and portrayed in a movie. With all the bad words them, according to them, all the ganja smoking them, and all the drumming of the Rasta man them in the movie. This movie was able to draw everybody. And I sit there and I tell you the truth, some tears come on my eye. Why the tears come on my eye? Because when I just start sight Rastafari, there's no way Rasta would have dip on the screen. As a matter of fact, there was no way a Rasta man could have gone a carib. Not to mention a Rasta man who are going to barefoot. Because you have signed on the door. I tell you, say, no shirt, no this, no that. No shoes, no entry. And I live to see the Rasta man ideas and philosophy is pushed out on that big screen. And people who I know say don't like Rasta. And if them pick me, they never come into the house and say, they go side Rasta. They would have run them out immediately. Because I know you two come to me and say, why do I have a problem with them people? And I say, why? Because they go say, I listen to the and I smoke herbs. Them, them, the, the, the parents say, they don't want them in the house. As a matter of fact, and I swear to this, one youth come to me, uptown youth, and say, his mother tell him, say, I bet I'm going to turn a Batman than go turn Rasta. You hear me say? The mother say, I bet you go turn a Batman than go turn a Rasta. Now, this is the thing where we did go through. We go through some serious cut off locks, beaten to death, run up where in the hills and mountains, can't come a street. If you come a street, is is persecuted, not only by police, but by the normal common people them. Them never like Rasta. Now we say it reaches a stage now where a celebration of Rastafari is projected on a big screen. A man who look and do all the things them that is abomination to the system. And him sing against the system. Now we see the system hug him up. And the thing with them hug him up is one song. One love, one heart, let's get together and be all right. Look here, man. First of all, a lot of the lyrics to that song was written by Curtis Mayfield from The Impression, Dead Now. That song was made from in the Ska era. The Ska era. That was like a song where you have in a Jamaican house say, put where the gun them and the bomb, too much killing are going on in our country. It was made for 
the times in Jamaica, because even in that time, you did have whole heap of criminal and gun activities that go on. And it's a very important part of the whole thing that right now we see that movie is going to make millions and it's going to bring millions to Jamaica in terms of tourism and the popularity that Jamaica achieved in the 60s and 70s. It's going to come forward again. We're going to come forward to it and get a second part. Thank <laughs> you.